Hello everyone, as you can see, this is my uh, desktop for rendering videos and stuff. I don't play that much game, but sometimes obviously I do. I love gaming in my spare times. And I got the basics ordinary keyboard from Lenovo wireless one. It came with the mouse, quite expensive it was at the beginning, around £40 I believe when I bought my first desktop from Lenovo uh, Idea Center one. Anyway, recently I feel quite boring to use it because those things are very slow, no RGB effect, nothing like that. And the keys are quite, you know, not comfortable and not too deep. So that's the reason I was planning to change it. And recently I got one of the best deal, which is called PicTech wired mechanical keyboard with lots of RGB function on it and I believe there are 87 keys in total and every single keys has each switch so that's mean individual switch for functioning it's not like parallel like a lot of branches on the tree you know and good in size quite compact so that's mean you have more space in your keyboard to drag go up and down with your mouse and stuff like that so today i'm going to open up and check uh, some highlighted function how does it work and so that you can decide either if you need one of them or not okay this is honestly this is my personal opinion not to advertise any company or pick tech by the way this model is pc 24a 244a and the price cost me from amazon 31.99 with the next day delivery okay so i'm gonna take out my old one and try to plug in this one and see all the functions and what is the best feature of it to spend 31 pound but you know if you go to logitech and stuff like that all the famous brand would cost i think if they created similar one then they would charge maybe 80 to 90 pound easily okay so this is one of the cheapest wired mechanical keyboard for gaming pieces ever i found so let's open it up and check first i'm going to open it they use very standard uh, packaging all right so this is wrapped up with the bubble wrap so that is the actual keyboard Okay, before I start with the keyboard, we're going to check what is in the box. All right, this is a kind of clip. I don't know how does it work. Anyway, I will leave it with me. And there is the booklet with many different languages. As you can see, English, Dutch, I believe, French, and what else? Okay, so... There is the illustration, it says what is in there. Okay, so it says one keyboard, manual, okay, keycap puller. Okay, that's fine. And all the instruction and stuff like that, and it talks about all the functions. But in reality, we're gonna see, obviously, if you really want to know everything all about the keyboard, then you must need to read from the beginning to the end and make assessment, you know. So let's leave it here. Okay. And nothing else in the box. The box is not that much fancy. Anyway, it says the brand name. There is no any other specification and nothing like that. It's like a kind of ordinary pack, you know, not that much approaching. It does say, uh, you know, who imported this one in UK and who is the actual manufacturer and stuff like that okay this is from china anyway okay and now we're going to check the keyboard that's the actual keyboard so if you check the sound it's quite nice it's like a old-fashioned typewriter sound 
that's the fast expression and i love it definitely and let's check the cables because you know most of the cables they use very cheap cable okay this is also similar but not that much spatial it's quite simple standard cable we don't see any kind of you know net wiring on the top it's just a plastic cable and the usb also it looks like no 2.0 it's like usb 1.0 quite standard okay and the length it doesn't say here but i can measure it straight away because sometimes let's say if you leave your cpu under the keyboard then definitely you need the space so i believe this is yeah two meter length i'm gonna check with my charging cable i don't have the measuring tape tape measure so this one one meter we're gonna check yeah i believe this is one and a half meter length but anyway you can check on the description they kind of their own logo i believe nothing else and then one screw on the top to open it up if you want to do something and at the back if you check it says the model number and obviously two legs so let's say if you don't have the mat still you can use it on the solid surface because we can see two pack this is kind of you know anti-slippery protection on it and most of the people they like to make the upside little bit higher than the bottom i mean than the caps lock so it goes in that way like 30 to 40 degree and if you would like to use the flat way then you can use it that is also quite nice i think this is not too suitable on top of the mat okay but we're going to check in reality without mat how does it work without lag it's like this side is quite slippery let's open it up and check now it's is quite firm that's fine now let's plug it into my computer and check all the function how does it work so now i'm going to use my secondary light which is not too bright and this one okay so example, there is the function key and there are six keys. Okay, these six keys has unique program for the light function. So once you click, press and hold FN, and if you click on one, then you can see the function. Okay. Example, let's open up a notepad. this is to put it higher so that's the permanent function if you want to put it more brighter this way let's check this okay and if you want to speed up then you need to press and hold the fn and then right arrow okay so any function that you play the light will flash quicker than normal so example Let's go to a different function. As you can see, it turns off straight away. But if you want to do it less, I mean slow. As you can see, it stays. Once I click on L, still it takes time to go down. Example. You can see. If you want to make it more brighter, same way. Okay, so let's go to the simple method. If you wanna make it brighter, up arrow. If you wanna make it lower, down arrow. But all the time you need to press and hold the function key. So if you wanna speed up the light, right arrow. If you wanna speed down, then the left arrow. All the time, press and hold the FN. And there are six functions. Also, it does have 
lot of other functions okay and they mention each and individual key has each switch so it's not like standard keyboard okay this is quite nice and smooth so now i'm going to play this function and see how it reacts okay so a lot of them i believe there are more than 27 functions in there i don't know all of them i'm still learning okay so i brought into video just to show you guys how it looks okay this is for the caps okay so it, one key has many functions as you can see it's changing okay page up number three function number three that's so nice and cool okay i just speed up I think this is the highest speed. See, once you see blinking like that, that means this is the indication that is the highest settings. Okay, I'm still pressing one key just to see. Can you see how faster it is? Let's make it a little bit slow. Slow, more slow. As you can see very slow let's make it very faster that's great so i believe this is quite good for 32 pound it's a good deal maybe you can try one of them and especially i like the space okay the actual size of the keyboard is not too big it's quite compact but if you look at the keys okay there are enough gap example let's say this is an ordinary keyboard look how big keyboard but check the gap of the two button it's, it look like very close right this one is very close to each other as you can see this one go in straight away so that's mean more key just for your accuracy in that way you're not gonna press the wrong button but this one such a big keyboard but the keys are very congested. This one, compact inside the actual keyboard, but look at the gap, much more bigger gap. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.